welcome back it's peggy from the paper bumblebee so i was just busy with my little design team project from natalie from line dot arrow this was the little booklet that i aged up so i took some trim and i just took some of my walnut stain dabbed it on here and sprayed and then dabbed this in there this i uh, I think this is also with some ink but I put some ink in a bottle with some water and I sprayed it on there and then I've also got another piece and I think I will be doing the same on this side so I'm going to put that on there So I hope to um, get this done today. There we go. And then see if that will. Just spread that a bit with water as well. Just gonna let that dry so the plan was for this to go on the outside and then this on the inside i put some tape on there then i'm going to glue this on the inside just gonna do that for so this is already dry this is all my ephemera i cut out so i'm gonna use that in a bit I'm going to glue this on the inside where I want to sew in uh, my signatures because this glue doesn't want to come out this one just wanted to thank you so much for all your kind comments I really appreciate it and I love hearing your and I love reading your feedback. Really inspires me again to keep on creating for you guys. Okay. This is a bit short, I see. Let's get that a bit up there. there we go. Okay, then I want to put this on the outside, glue that on there, it's still wet, so I'm just going to dry that quickly, and then this will go on this uh, signature and then we'll uh, sew it in like so just gonna dry that quickly and as you know I am using uh, Natalie's kit from line.arrow I will link her Etsy shop down below in the description box and I will really try to do my best and everything I use to link that in the description box down below as well for I'm really actually bad at that most of the time I just forget and of course I got I get a lot of my stuff locally and you I can link the stuff for you but you can't get it for well I live in in the Netherlands and you guys live most of you in the US of A and in Germany and in Spain and well you you can order it from well from the website I, I'll I'll give up but it will cost you a lot of money for the postage so I 
think it's really hard for me. I can post the name and you can search on the on that, but I don't know. I'm blabbing away. Oh, by the way, as you can see, I did do the flaps on the outside. Well, I thought I can make a closure on here and then just that would be easier. So I've got this and I've got this now. Oh. It's got like a little extra space for it to just to move, so that's fine. So now I want to sew in my signatures and I'm just debating if I should do it with the three pamphlet stitch or with the sewing machine. So I wanted to put it in like so. I think I will, well I'm going to sew it in with uh, the pamphlet stitch, the three stitches. But if I should do this with the sewing machine. I'll just get the middle quickly. And by the way, I love these pages. They turned out so gorgeous, crunchy. So I think, hmm, I think I will just glue this on here. And then stitch. Yeah, for I want it to be only on the first page. Is decorator, or should I just leave that away? Or on the inside, I can do that as well. Way around. Or maybe I should do that. So I will be gluing this in here. So it's got like a double layer. And then I will stitch this in. So I want to do that quickly. So let me see in the middle. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, just dry that and then we can stitch it in. Okay, so I got my needle and I got this really old red wine reddish color thread I think it will be enough I'm gonna use and then I've got my all and my little booklet so let's see where the middle is there we go just gonna clip that quickly Take my little envelope folder thingy and line it up to be quite in the center in the middle. And then I'm gonna poke holes through the pages and my envelope. So then they are all lined up. And I'm gonna do three holes. Okay, and then let's sew it in.
There we go, and it is the perfect length. Just make sure, let me see. Need to lengthen this one thread, like so. One underneath and one on this side. And just see this. Nice and tight, nice and snug in there, and I'm going to make three little knots to make sure they will be staying in there, and then we can do like a little charm or something on there if we want to, or you can make a little bow. I'm just going to make a bow for now. And they're uh, in, so happy with that. Okay, nice and scrunchy. Just gonna put this away. So we want to make the closure on here, and I also wanted to do. Uh, a little doily on there but I don't know I don't have a doily that size mm. I don't know we'll see um, got this green as well, not bad as well. Maybe we can put that on there. Got this in different colors, so we can have a look if that will go with that. For now, I'm going to have a look to decorate the inside. I want to put something on there to disguise that, for I don't like that, it's bugging me like crazy. So I'm going to do some decorating on the pages. And now we can put those beautiful letters in here. Again, I took them out just for the gluing and the inking and the stuff. And on the back as well. You can put some more stuff in there if you want to. There we go. Nice and squishy. Love it. Okay. So I'm just going to make a closure. I'll do that together and decorate as well so i've sorted my stuff a bit these are pockets big ones small ones just some postage cards that can you can make um, journaling cards or whatever all the tags big ones and we've got some small ones in between beautiful kit as well here I've got some labels, some has some have names, some have nothing. They are empty. I've got another little envelope thingy here. Yeah, I want to use this as well. Then I've got some nice cute little ephemera, small ones, and some more. So my uh, intention with this little booklet is I want to use only the kit on this if I can and I want to use this just for notes and that kind of thing and I want to put most of the stuff I want to put in so that you can take it out 
and use it somewhere else or use it and put it back in and maybe afterwards glue it in or whatever so I'm gonna use some paper clips to clip some stuff on I am going to use the pockets and I do want to use this but first I want to show you and then I'm going to back everything up and cut again and then I'll be back okay guys so I cut everything out again back to first up cut it out and I embellished my little booklet already and all I have to do still is make a closure so I took one of Natalie's little labels backed it up make it nice and thick and I'm going to use that to make my closure and I think I will be just punching a hole through everything at the same time so then everything is nicely lined up Okay, so I thought of to make it nice and sturdy, put an eyelet in here, and also put one in here. like so and then put this together with a little split pin got here so then we've got a nice and sturdy little closure and this can still turn around so that's fine and I thought of closing it up with some sorry silk first I wanted to do a little flip through so I did a little collage on here with one of Natalie's little stamps that I cut out, backed up, cut out and sewn around. I put some uh, thread uh, behind it, some lace and some or trim and some um, just some cheesecloth I dyed and some black threads and everything nice and I think it's really nice and on the top here I did a little collage as well with the trim again with black and white uh, f um, little threads and then beautiful on the on the spine I took some trim and first glued down this inked it up and then sewn in the signatures and put this trim on there in in the back or on the back I put first some of this green trim lacy stuff and then the this was like creamy and I went over it with some vintage uh, of walnut stain and I made a little pocket here as well with this little greenish trim on there and in the back pocket you know I put that um, from Natalie's kit that nice beautiful paper with the folds so I folded it on the lines and you can fold it like this as well and tucked it in here I'll do that in a, in a bit and in the front before I show you I took the same one as this but then smaller she has that in a printable, a big one and a small one. And I fold it on the lines as well. As you can see, backed up. So you can have your journaling inside there. And I just put it on there with a paper clip. So you can take it out, write your letter or whatever. And you can give it to someone. Or you can put it in one of the pockets I put in. Or glue it in. Whatever you want to do. And on this side as well, I put one of these uh, beautiful folded letters. So this was clipped on here. 
and I just love that everything is removable and usable and reusable then we've got the beautiful pages that I aged I just love that turned out really great so on the first page I didn't do anything for I just love it so much as is then on the second page this was just a coffee dyed page and then the inking I put one of Natalie's little pockets and inside I put one of her postcards that uh, was sized I didn't size it it's in the kit you also get to the little size sorry then I just put in a blank tab tag and a little ticket in there so that's usable then the next page I left as is so you have a plenty of writing space in here I put some of Natalie's stuff again one of the labels and two little postcards also just tucked in there so you can use it to your heart's content writing space lots of writing space in here I tucked in a little tag and you see the L pockets empty so you can write on that and then tuck it in there as for where did I just pass it no. well, I've got some pockets in, in here that are empty so you can put it in there if you want to or something else and again one of those little postage stamps you can use whatever then we've got blank page again here we've got a little pocket again from Natalie's kit with a ticket and a blank little tag that's usable and it's about every other page here is one of her bigger pockets and that's empty so you can tuck it in there whatever you want you can even put this in there if you want to you fold it up and it fits in let me just there we go it fits in there perfectly let's take it out again then we've got the next page got a little taggy and a little you can use it as a journaling card or just something to embellish and one of those little beautiful postage stamps I sewed around everything inked around everything I, I just thought it went well with this look this is my middle I made a little bow I might I might just change that into putting on a little bead or something or charm maybe then we've got another empty pocket where you can tuck in all your goodies then here we've got a small pocket again with just a plain tab and a little ticket again isn't this gorgeous guys I just love it plenty of writing space as you can see another one of Natalie's pockets with a ticket and a little plain tag in here I tucked again a tag and a postage card and it's all backed up you can use it however and then just put it in there on the back of this page I put this well again a little label and this envelope and I backed it up as well so you can write in there and you can tuck it in one of those little pockets or put it back here or glue it in and the feel it feels so old yeah I put uh, this postage stamp on there as a little tuck spot with some of this kids labels Natalie's label labels and then on the almost last page I just tucked in one of those gorgeous little papers that you can look at this isn't this beautiful you can use it like you want to you can use it like a journaling pla a place to journal maybe you want to cut some stuff out of it there's plenty of goodies to cut from then this is the last page 
on the back page I made this little pocket and tucked in two of her tags so really plenty of space to write in this little journal and again the back and I also have a little pocket made out of uh, just uh, uh, some flowers from her kit and you can tuck something in there as well so I'm just going to put that back and then I want to do the sorry silk on the like so so now I want to take my sorry silk and put it behind here want that to be straight there we go. and then you can wrap it around like you want to and tuck it in and I think this just looks really romantic and gorgeous maybe I can cut it just a little shorter but there is my project for Natalie for the design team, Line Dot Arrow. I hope you like this process. Get a thumbs up if you did. Uh, you can get her links to her Etsy shop and everything down in the description box below. Go have a look. Beautiful kit this. And remember you get two for a price of one. So. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.